Pope Francis, he says, I invite every Christian at this very moment to a renewed personal encounter with Jesus Christ. I think young people today are looking for meaning. I think they want something that's truly meaningful with depth, you know, and that's why we're so passionate about sharing this way of life with young adults because it is a beautiful way of life that is worth taking your whole life to, to wrap your arms around and live well. We have to be there for each other. And what are young adults looking for? They're looking for support. They're looking for love. They're looking for someone to try to live an authentic Catholic life with. And I think just going to church on Sunday isn't cutting it. We need to fire up our parishes, renew our parishes, bring real life and animation to the parishes. And then we're going to renew families, and then we're going to see a renewal in religious life in this country. I really hope that this community is thriving and healthy and growing for our children and our children's children. making my temporary profession because I feel called to, to move. I'm challenging myself not to stay stagnant. I'm making my temporary profession because I know that I'm being called to commit further to the life of this community and um, I'm looking forward to do so. My wife and I were, were pretty active in the community. We were very active in our parish. So when she passed away, people kept asking me, have you thought about being a priest? I really dug in my heels and said, no, I have not thought about priesthood. Don't just be quiet, <laughs> just leave me alone. But that, that thought kept coming back to me. And because of this community, I, I began praying the liturgy of the hours. I got a regular prayer routine. And it's in that prayer time that I that I finally surrendered and said, God, if this is what you want me to do, I will do it. Something that grabbed my attention when I saw the Brothers and Sisters of Charity was how they integrate both charismatic and contemplative prayer. Um, because I grew up in a very traditional family where we had organ music and hymns and chanted the Mass. But then through my experiences with Net Ministries, I was introduced to charismatic praise and worship. And I loved uh, all the contemporary music and that open expression of praise. So for me, the Brothers and Sisters um, there was this beautiful center where I had kind of the best of both um, and I definitely felt most at peace and at home um, because of that. So I don't know any other community that's bringing all those together, the East, the West, uh, the early expressions, the later expressions, men, women, families, uh, the contemplative, the charismatic, the liturgical, the spontaneous, you know, the clerical, the lay. Um, some people say you're trying to do too much. And I go, I don't think it's too much. It's just what God put on my heart. And it's what I live. It's just what I do, and uh, if anybody wants to come along, come join us. <laughs>
I, Ryan Essington, to be known as Brother John Francis, inspired by the Holy Spirit, to live the gospel of Jesus Christ more intently by public profession within the brothers and sisters of charity. I don't think I would be able to live out my faith as radically as I do without community. And many times you see in the lives of the saints, they're connected to other saints, you know? They had friends and they had connections. And um, I want to be a saint, you know? I want to, to live my faith to its fullness. And I know I can't do that alone. The expression of this community for three years, according to the scripture rule, the constitutions, and the leadership brothers and sisters. There were times when I would go to the chapel and pray at the seminary and I could feel the prayers of this community praying for me. I could close my eyes in the, in the seminary chapel and I could envision myself in this chapel here. I would sometimes visualize what it would be like to celebrate Mass here, what it's going to be like to come back to this community. I can't imagine what our walk would be like without that smaller, tight-knit community where we know, um, we know these people like brothers and sisters. Follow Jesus. Come. Come home. Come home to Jesus. Come home to the church. Come home to community. Come home to your families. My experience of the brothers and sisters of charity that at the root, like that's their hope and that's their dream and that's their vision is to enculturate all of society with that hope, with that dream, with that joy and peace who is Jesus Christ. And that's, that's our rule, you know. The rule of the brothers and sisters is the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's more to the cross than meets the eye. There's, there's hope.